Hey, what's up everybody? It's your favorite electrician, Doug here. Just reaching out with a quick video this morning to talk about uh, the study resources that I used for the Maryland Master Electrician's exam. Um, since I completed the exam last week, I've had a few people reach out and just ask what were some of the study materials that I utilized in passing the exam. Uh, so I'm gonna share that today. First thing to keep in mind is that every state is different. Every jurisdiction is different. In the state of Maryland right now, uh, probably for the next month or so, they're testing on the 2017 NEC. Um, so that's what we got here. You've got to determine what your local jurisdiction is, is testing on, what code cycle they're actually uh, going to be testing you on, and, and do your studying through that. This is the 2017 National Electrical Code. I actually did my journeyman's exam and my master's exam with this book, so I got lucky. Um, I think had I failed one more time, I might have had to completely relearn everything for the 2020, which isn't an entirely new book, but there are updates to it. So anyway, first step is figuring out uh, what book you're being tested on. The way to do that is to contact your local jurisdiction as you get the ball rolling um, and you apply to be a candidate for the exam in your area and they'll let you know. Uh, so obviously you need your code book. Um, we'll go through in the uh, podcast, we're gonna do a little episode about um, some of the techniques that helped me become quicker with the code book to pass that exam uh, and to just be quicker with the code book in general. But that's one of the resources you're obviously gonna need. Um, the, the main textbook that I utilized was Mike Holt's Electrical Exam Preparation. Uh, this book is based on the 2017 NEC. So uh, Mike Holt has various versions and copies of this pra practice exam um, booklet for different code cycles. So make sure you're you're getting the right one for the test that you're taking. Uh, it's a really great book. If you if you haven't looked through Mike Holt's um, books, this one's phenomenal. Um, starting in, I believe it was section five, uh, unit five, you really start to get into calculations. They start with raceway and box fill calculations, where to find that stuff in the code book. And then you start to get into wireways and then on into uh, your load calculations for single family, multi uh, family, residential, and so on. So this is one of the books that um, I relied heavily on. Another thing that I did to get ready for the exam is I signed up for a um, a prep course, a, a calculations prep course that's taught by a man named Marty Schumacher here in Maryland. Marty's an awesome resource. If you're in Maryland, he's the guy to go to. Uh, but you want to also just reach out wherever you are and determine who might be leading those prep courses. Um, if you don't do load calculations all the time, which if you're not a master electrician, you probably don't do them very much, um, I would recommend taking a calculations course. I knew almost nothing about commercial calculations and the like before taking that, that uh, prep course. And the prep course really, really prepared me. I wouldn't have gotten through the test if it weren't for the prep course. So thank you, Marty Schumacher. And I recommend that you guys do that. Um, I also uh, made my own flashcards. Um, I did flashcards based on tables, um, important tables that, uh, you know, it's not important when taking the test to memorize the table. It's just important, in my opinion, to understand what the table number might be based on what you're trying to solve for um, so that you can navigate to it quickly. That's all. So when you see like you're looking for standard breaker sizes, you're going to want to go to 240.6a and you know that because you've made flashcards for yourself and you've gone over it and over it. So you're not thinking, what is that table? I know there's a table somewhere. I think it's in 200. You just know that's where you got to go, right? So flashcards for that. And then um, flashcards for uh, theory. I have probably 75 flashcards um, that are based on theory, based on basic calculations, um, the formula wheel, things like that. So that's another thing I would recommend. And then the final thing I would recommend that you do if you're getting ready for either your journeyman's or your master's or whatever the equivalent is in your area is um, I went on tests.com, www.tests.com, and they have a journeyman and they have a master electrician practice exam. Now it's going to be... Uh, uh, not as exact as it would be if you're taking a prep course or Mike, looking through Mike Holt's book, but they are going to give you, um, you know, one point questions based on articles in the code. Um, and it's super helpful. They have their own flashcards as well. That really helped me get through the journeyman's test.com. 
Um, and I would recommend it for anybody taking the masters too. You can just take prep, uh, practice tests over and over and over. They'll tell you, you know, whether, you know, what, what questions you got right, what questions you got wrong. So you can focus on that. Um, it's just rinse and repeat. It's just do it over and over and over and over again and uh, until you pass it. And so that's it. Those are the materials that I use to pass the Maryland master's exam. Remember, check in your area to see what code cycle you're on when they're testing you. Um, and best of luck. I think if you qualify, uh, if you've got the years in and you can go take one of these tests, I would say do it. Um, it just forces you to stick your nose in the code book for an extended period of time, which is always helpful if you're if you're an electrician and you're trying to step up your game a little bit. Uh, so that's it for that video, guys. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.